members of the Pride, and welcome back to another episode of Animalica. Uh, and as you can see on the side of the screen there on the right, I have enough things uh, to make my chemistry table. Not enough to do the laboratory yet. Uh, but hey, at least we got the chemistry table, and that's kind of one less thing to have to deal with. So we're going to hop over here, and we're going to make our chemistry table. <laughs> Man, I tell you what, it is so hard getting a hold of these last two, uh, the, the, the silicon and uh, quartz for the last two things. But finally, yes, man, I tell you what, <laughs> it has been no joke trying to, and look at it, look at how small it is. It's so small. There's not even that much to it. Uh, I actually kind of... Is this the kind of thing that I can put? You know what? Maybe this would be a good thing to put in the house. Let's let's look inside here. Yeah, I can place this in the house, and this would be kind of a, a, a halfway. Well, oh no 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 no! Even better. I have not been using this building at all. Perhaps I need to start turning this into our. Uh, our research developmental laboratory type thingy. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't quite blend in perfectly, but you know, it it it, it works kind of. Um, and as a matter of fact, as long as long as I'm here, I'm also going to want to um, do some of this too and make some antiseptic so I can make some large first aid kits. I've got. Um, I made a few of these, uh, uh, the small first aid kits off camera, um, but I think I'll go ahead and do the rest of these. I'll do the antiseptics and the, um, uh, and the cures and tame because I got a bunch of aloe vera in, uh, the last area, plus some of the growing I've been doing off, uh, off camera as well. So I'm going to take care of that real quick and I'll be right back. All right. And we got all that and then this final thing just to knock out a bunch of these large first aid kits because there are sometimes we get badly badly hurt and we need to like get it done right then and there um all right is that it all right and so uh that gives us uh all the different first aid kits as well as a bunch of cure and taming potion uh, oh, and oh, and also this. We need to get that taken care of real quick uh, because we have the materials finally. Uh, oh, actually, let me let me let me run and get the titanium ingots because we need titanium for this, uh, which is right there. And you know what? I'll grab that just in case we need more. Uh, but let's come in here to the enchantments. Oh, there we go. Plus nine pickaxe with that blue shard we find uh, we were finally able to get uh, get a hold of, and we already have the red, so bam, nice. All right, and that gives us our plus ten steel pickaxe, which, to my knowledge, is the best pickaxe in the game. Um, so we're we're we are set for this for the time being. Uh, it could be that other pickaxes get added later in the game. I don't know. Have not, you know, I, I, I haven't found anything. Um, and I haven't heard of anything. Uh, so if there is one better than that, I am not aware of it. But for now, um, but we have the best pickaxe in the game. And we have enough to cure 57 more animals thanks to all that aloe vera so i think it's time that we started busting out some more animals and creating some more enclosures um especially now that we have our uh, uh, all that stuff created so let's bust out the piggies and the doggies um actually you know what i'll be able to i could literally fill this uh, fill this thing up uh and yeah let's let's get the wolves uh, let's get the, the cows and the horses because I have enclosures for all of those. 
Oh, you know what? I can make a sheep uh, a sheep pen too. Uh, and I have a fox pen. I, I'm hesitant to do more dogs since I already have a ton of them. <laughs> um, uh, oh, shoot. But I don't have a small laboratory, which means we're going to have to uh, hop back to Nova real quick and use the use the the laboratory there um but at least we can cure and tame a bunch more animals um and i really like the uh, the idea of being able to do that um and i do have i mean now that i'm thinking about it I do have several areas which are 100% clear, and I just realized I'm hungry. Um, and I didn't really bring all that much in the way of food, but I, I guess I'll just use what I have. That's a different sound. I don't remember canned food sounding like that, <laughs> but uh, okay. But maybe now's the time to start thinking... Oh, there we go. Um, maybe now's the time to start thinking about um, picking an area to repopulate um, to, to repopulate an area that has been uh, decontaminated. Ugh, that little weird dip. Um, because that that is kind of the current plan. It's like, I've got the enclosures. Oh, excuse me. Oof. Ooh, am I done? I don't know if I'm done. Um, I mean, I know I have some, some enclosures, but ever since I had that idea of just uh, getting, like, basically just repopulating the cleansed areas, I, I've just, it's been stuck in my brain, and I think it's a great idea. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of thinking maybe I might want to do that, and I do have a few cleansed areas, so maybe I need to start thinking about repopulating uh the different areas with maybe keep keep the keep the super rare ones uh like anything that's like especially legendary oh my gosh definitely legendary but any maybe anything that is yeah maybe anything that is like super like rare keep uh, keep anything that's rare and keep anything that's legendary but basically let everything else go so that it can repopulate the area. Or, or at least <laughs> role-playing wise it would be repopulating the area because I don't actually know if that would work. Um, Alright. Let's let, let us begin with the with, 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 with the uh the curing of the of the animals here. I have a ton of them to do in this episode. We're finally going to be able to. Um, gosh, we have so many of these. I really want to find where these where these these rares these legendaries are. Um, I'm excited about them. Um, that's, oh, I guess so. I guess this is. There's no way to to just do them all, huh? You have to do one at a time. I mean, that's okay, I guess. Um, but yeah, um, I'm thinking maybe I will pick an area uh, where I can just plop down all of my like all the different wolves. A nice little big open step area for the wolves, uh, especially since I have both males and females. I have a ton of them. Um, and since they would no longer be hostile to me, I, I could plop those down in pretty much, uh, any open area. I'm thinking, like, maybe some sort of forested area. Um, since wolves do tend to, uh, enjoy areas with tree cover, um, or, or, or at least I believe so. Uh, boy, I, I'm not going to pretend I'm I'm an expert on animals, uh, but I want to say that they like like forests and woods and such. Uh, of course, they all, I guess they also like. Well, no, they they're not really steppe animals, are they? They're not really open plains animals. They like the forest. So uh, obviously, we have no rhinos and gazelles and giraffes and 
Do we have... No, we didn't bring goats. Oh, but I did bring... I brought horses, right? Oh, but these aren't... That's not horses. These are horses. There we go. Um, so, yeah, and, and the, the areas for that have horses we're going to need... Because what I want to make sure of is that we don't put um, any... Um, any meat eating animals uh you know in, i don't i don't want to put any any uh predators in the same place as prey uh because the last thing i want to do is uh make you know make, you know uh, you know put put down a bunch of rabbits you know right next to where the wolves are and the fox are foxes are you know i i kind of feel like that might be a bad idea so <laughs> um and then, like, I can put, like, all the horses and cows together. That would be okay. Um, put, like, rabbits in another area. You know, I just basically just go through um, and just start placing down all the animals, you know, and, and just give them some wide open spaces for them to roam. And because I, I, I kind of feel like, I mean, it's... It's cool that we are rescuing all these animals, but to rescue them and then just keep them penned up for the rest of the time, I'm not feeling it. Um, I'm, I'm not feeling that at all. Um, so I, I think maybe this really is the best way to do it. Um, we're gonna, we're just gonna go through. Uh, we're going to cure as many animals as we can, and then we're going to just pick a spot that's been cleansed um and uh we're, we're we're gonna release them into that area so for now uh I, i'm going to i'm just going to keep going back and forth here and, and keep trying to uh cure as many of these animals as we can um and for now i'm going to put them back into the into the crates uh, just just until I'm able to organize where I want who to where to who. Um, I, for now, I'm kind of thinking that Nova might be a great place for, um, like, maybe... <sighs> I'm kind of thinking Nova might be a good place for horses. Like that big open plains area, put the horses out there, um, and maybe put like the cows out there too. Nice open running area. Like it's it's just big open flat spots like this. Um, dogs. Do I want to just keep all the dogs? I kind of want to just keep all the dogs here. <laughs> what? Leave me alone. I like dogs. Leave me alone. <laughs> I I mean I think I might just keep all the doggies just to have them in the area but i'll like have them you know like out and about in the world so that they're not step uh, stepping on each other um may maybe like keep a couple of them close to each other so that there's friends you know they're they they, they have company if they want to get together they can I'm a little worried about crashing my game with all the dogs in the <laughs> if I'm putting all the dogs in one place. Uh, because if I put too much in one area, um, I, I'm, I'm nervous about crashing the game. <laughs> uh, okay, so let me think. Let For now, let's just keep all of the, the those guys together. Hmm, pigs. Uh, pigs, pigs generally tend to like trees to root in, because they like to root around, get the, the truffles and things like that. Um, but maybe, I don't know. I, I don't know, I've seen, I've seen pigs, I've seen like boars and pigs in mountainous areas too. I'm not for sure. I wish I were like more educated about these kind of things. I'm just... I am unfortunately not very educated about these kind of things. Uh, Alright, so we'll grab all the doggies and we will put all of the cattle and horses... Oh, whoops! <laughs> and pigs into there. Let's... Whoops! <laughs> so, yeah, we got a ton of wolves. 
Um, so, we, okay, we've already cleaned. No, we have not cleaned this out. So, doggy, 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 doggy. And sheep. Um, and then over here. And we've got more. I don't remember. I, I Let's see. We can do 30 per... Uh, let, let's just for now let's let's fill up oh the black bear oh i forgot about the black bear um and the kitties uh ooh. oh and we need the puma uh because we need to put him in with with ours uh i guess we'll go ahead and do more sheep um and more pigs and another cow i guess for now and and i am being paged i cannot talk to you right now i am recording uh and the bear yeah do all that all right let us hop over and back to nova nova run away stephanie run away and if you know that reference you are cool and if you don't know that reference um I suggest looking up a movie called Short Circuit. Uh, it has really bad acting and an amazing little robot. And you you, you will love the, the show. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say bad acting, but it's not, not good acting. <laughs> um, once upon a time, there was this actress named Ali Sheedy who was adorable and everybody loved her. And... She wasn't a great actress, but she was she was a fun actress. Um, yeah, I'm, and I'm a, and of course there was a, a gentleman named Steve Gutenberg, who you might recognize from the Police Academies, and I, I'm I'm just it, that and there was an extremely racially profiled fellow uh, Indian fellow who we're just you know we're not going to get into to, to all that stuff, but. I mean, Short Circuit was a, a hilarious movie and with, with a, a, an incredibly adorable robot. And yeah, I just recommend it. So <clears throat> um, anyway, uh, what was I what was I talking about? I don't even remember what I was talking about. I was talking about curing animals or something. Um, but yeah, I. Yeah, I just I want to keep the dogs around my <laughs> around my island. Um, I'm renaming our Pashi Dog Island or something. I don't know. Um, but I mean, I can't really think of uh, of another place to put dogs. I mean, because dogs are so human friendly, and they're just they're they are they have ingratiate been ingratiated into human society so much that. Uh, humans actually thrive better if dogs are are living in proximity with them, and dogs as well thrive better if humans are in proximity. Uh, we have just kind of grown up, you know, over the centuries and millennia, side by side. Um, so I don't know. I I, I kind of want to keep them with us. And yes, there could be an argument made that. Um, that there are, um, you know, there there are other towns and and other stuff like that that I could put, um, that I could put dogs with them. And I mean, if it just turns out that I've got too many dogs on my island and I start crashing <laughs> my game because I have too many dogs on my island, then perhaps I will do that. Um, that's a that that's a possibility uh but where are the bears Did I... am i missing the bears oh bears right there i was gonna say i did yeah okay i did cure the bear i was gonna say i did cure the bear right yes i did cure the bear um i wanted to make sure that was a uh that that was for sure a thing I did. Um, anyway. Um, but yeah, if it just turns out that I'm crashing my my 
you know, our, our Pashi, because every time I, I come to, uh, you know, I come to the island, it's trying to load up all the dogs. Um, then, then I'll kind of deal with that. And, and maybe I'll start spreading out. I'll, I'll grab all the dogs and I'll start spreading them out to the various villages and stuff. But I don't know. Honestly, most of the villagers um, that we have come across, uh, I mean, some of them live in side by side with monsters without doing anything about it. And some are frankly kind of creepy. And let's not even talk about bald creep eyed Joe. A creepy eye Joe. I mean, guys, you know, guys got issues. Just, let's just let's just call that what it is. Guy has issues. So I don't know. Um, I I am leaning towards keeping them all with me, but it may not be plausible to do that. <laughs> but we will find out. As we continue to place more dogs around the area, if I start seeing like serious performance problems, you know, we'll we'll then we'll cross that road and we'll start finding um, villages that have been cleansed. Uh, but it has to be completely cleansed. Like for example, Amber Island is probably going to be the last place I cleanse entirely because I have two farms there. Um, but you know that's it's you got the idea. Um, all right, let's. Uh, whoop, what? Why? Why is this say loading? What? Why are you loading? You shouldn't be loading. Uh, who did I not cleanse? Okay, it looks like I've got a couple of sheep. Yeah, just a couple of sheep that didn't get uh, didn't get uh, cured and tamed. So we will go ahead and put you and you and you get it. They're, they're female sheep. I will put you in. The... Look, I'm a dad. I have dad jokes. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Let's. We we need a place to put the bear. Um, I I I. For now, I want to keep the bear. Um, because I, I, I I'm not really thinking off my head a good place to put the bear right now. Um, it, and, and the puma. We need to place the puma. So, let us go. Let's, play, oop, uh, let's place the puma first, because we know where to put the puma. Caesar! My horse. My horse. Uh, I have to remember where we have the big cats. I believe it's back there, right? Or is it no, that's where the wolves are right now. Uh, yeah, and that, okay, that's where, that's right, that's where I put the pigs. And this is where the big cats are. Okay. <clears throat> For now, this works. Here you go. Placed. Have a nice day. Don't worry, I will be putting you in a better place soon. Uh, and we can put down lay piggies. Um, since I'm right here, uh, we'll just go ahead and put you there and put you up there and do that. And you know what? Let's just, for now, let's put away all of our weaponry and whoop, place you down and place you down. All right, animals. All right, so let's put piggy and we have a place for the cows. Um, oh, well, you're excused. <laughs> uh, no, this one. Uh, let's see, I, I have, what? I mean, I have a place for, for uh, okay, lion, stop, stop, stop continuing, a, uh, you know, stop starting a thought and, and never finishing the thought. You have to complete your thoughts. Uh, oh my gosh, stop, stop doing that. What are you doing? Game, what are you doing? All right, this, yeah, okay, this is where uh, our current only legendary resides. Uh, I have nothing in here, so uh, for now, Captain Baritone, there you go. 
Your 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 temporary name is Baritone. Oh, you are so cool looking. <laughs> oh, I like you. Uh, all right. Uh, then we need. Uh, let's see. Do do I have a place for our sheep? I don't remember if we have a place for the sheep or not. Uh, I want to say that we're probably going to have to build a separate enclosure for them. I, I, I have just been joined by a good friend of mine. Um, you guys probably recognize uh, the name. Um, is that where I wanted to put him? Oh, shoot. Uh, no, that's not where I wanted to put... Hey, you. Come here. Follow. I, I have made mistakes. Mistakes were made. Come on. Come on. Get over here. Wait. Caesar. Caesar! Where's my horse? Oh, there's my horse. Why is my horse over there? <laughs> Alright. Come here, Caesar. I accidentally put you in the wrong thing. You need to... Yeah, there you go. Oh, don't you love the way they look when they're running? Look at him. Oh, that looks so good. Okay. Come here, Caesar. Or not Caesar. I mean... What, whatever your name is, Mr. Big Giant Bull, get in here. Okay, very good. And, eh, and stop following. Very good. Have a nice life. Um, but yeah, that's I, I'm thinking that maybe we need to think in terms... See, I have no place to put the sheep right now. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to create a new enclosure, aren't I? Yeah, because I don't currently have any empty pens... I do not. I have no empty pens. So, um, well, we really don't have enough time in this episode uh, to do more of the pen, uh, uh, more of the pens. So, I think what I'll do right now is I think I'm gonna start. Uh, I think I'm gonna place place down some more dogs. I've got them on. Uh, I've got them on. Oh, oh, oh! Game's starting to do that weird flicker thing. That's what happens when uh, you're in early access. It just, these these flickery things happen. Uh, all right, yeah, it's starting to do all these weird graphical things. Um, and I can't help but wonder if that's because we've got too many entities here. That I mean, it's a possibility, and we can't ignore that possibility. We may have to put... Um, we, we may have to start putting down... Oops. Uh, we may have to start putting down animals back in the, the other areas. Um, that is an all too serious reality. Um, so I don't know. We we're 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 gonna have to give serious thought to that. Ugh. Because if, if we're, I mean, as far as I know, the only place we're having graphical glitches is here. And if that's the case, it may be because we're, it's just, it's not ready for this many entities yet. I mean, it, it, you know, it's a, 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 a game can only handle so much and a computer can only handle so much. Um, and so it's kind of to be expected that eventually you're going to reach your limit. And we do have an awful lot of independently moving uh, creatures right now. So uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of the issue is I, I don't know. I don't know what this game can tolerate. Um, so I think, yeah, see, we're starting to get a little. I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to restart. Uh, the game uh, to make sure that I don't accidentally crash the game. Uh, can I do? I, I've got a little bit more time left. Can I? Let, let me let me see if I can't just make one more uh, pen uh, enclosure. Uh, just a basic one? No, that's small. Um, that's large. Uh, yeah, let's just do this one. And timber and nails. Timber, timber, timber. Oh, more timber. Uh, timber, timber. And nails over here. And nails. All right. Uh, so let's do one more enclosure for the time being. And we'll just have a place to put... Um... Oh, wait. No, I'm not. I want the four. Yeah, I want four? Or do I want three? 
You know what? I like three better. Yep, thank you, timer. Uh, I like three better for for the for the sheep. All right, so let's go slap this down real quick, and then we will end the episode. Uh, where is my horse? Why are you Why are you way out here? Why Why Why, why don't you have a follow a, a, a follow thing? You should be able to follow me, Caesar. Uh, okay, so let's put down. Where do I want to put this bad boy down? Uh, let's see. We were we were starting to swing pe uh, swing enclosures out this way, weren't we? Yes, we were. So, as a matter of fact, ooh, that tree might be actually well placed for this. So let's get off of here and whoop and whoop. Okay, turn, 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 turn. Burp. Yeah, see that might be well placed. We can just sort of tuck this in so that we've got a tree in there. Problem is this thing it's so hard to line these up. Uh oop, 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 like that. Okay, so put it like that, and then we'll just tuck it in a little bit so the tree's in there, and bam. And I, you, I realize it's a little back. That's actually okay. I'm 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 okay with this. I like the way this looks. Uh, so let's go ahead and sheep, 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 sheep. Okay. Uh, and then sheep. You're not going to attack me, are you? <laughs> okay. It looks like the taming potion does work on the psycho sheep. So. <laughs> All right. We have. We have done it. Um, or at least we've done as much as we're able to do right now. Um, I have to give real consideration as to what I'm going to do in terms of where I'm going to put uh, the various animals. I, I, I think I am... I think I'm set on having um, horses and cattle in Nova. Uh, I, I, those big open, wide open spaces that are in that one big area, I think that's that's excellent for them. A lot of grassland there. There's water, uh, so I kind of like I kind of like that idea. So I think we're going to stick with that. Um, other places, I'm not sure. Uh, we're I, I I'm going to have to give real I'm going to have to give real thought to that. Um, I'm I'm not I'm not for sure. Uh, grab some water real quick. And in any case, guys, that's going to do it for this particular episode. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do the liking and the subscribing and the commenting down below. You guys, just brilliant. I truly appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, everyone, always remember that anyone can be a mouse that roars, but it takes someone special to be a lion that squeaks. So embrace your inner lion and squeak on. And now I have to find out what Scaldabanco wants, why he, he came in here and opened the thing when he knows I'm recording. Shh. People, I swear. <laughs>